Welcome back. Uh, Chris Langridge, uh, the general manager, and Tim Butt, the senior server and tableside prep expert from High's Steakhouse in Vancouver, here with me now. Thanks, gentlemen, both uh, very much for being here. And congratulations on uh, the 50th anniversary of High's Steakhouse. What uh, an amazing accomplishment, especially in today's economy. Um, Chris, tell me a little bit about the history of, of High's Steakhouse. Well, first of all, Lynn, happy Thanksgiving. Um, High started in uh, 1955 by uh, High Eisenstadt, who was the, uh, the uh, founder. Uh, the first High's was in Calgary. Um, and we're actually celebrating our 50th at High's Encore, which is the same location. Um, and we opened up in 1962. Wow. And have been going uh, very strong since then. Uh, we have created kind of a special menu uh, in celebration of the anniversary. And today, Tim's going to be preparing a a steak Diane for you. Mm -hmm. um, we have a number of special uh, items on the on the menu that we're preparing table side and uh, a lot of them we've sort of revisited from uh, you know some classic dishes of uh, yesteryear. You can see Tim is uh, this is a Canadian prime uh, steak. Um, only two percent of beef produced is actually qualifies to be prime so it is it's really the best of the best. And Tim, what have you um, done done with this? Before well, so you... far I've just seasoned the meat, mm -hmm. a little salt and pepper, and now I'm uh, frying it in some clarified butter. Okay. Um, and then basically I'm going to make a sauce, I'm going to flame it, a little pyrotechnics, with some brandy, and then uh, plate it all up. Okay. Now this you call this steak Diane. Steak Diane. What what is the Diane reference? Is that? Yeah, Diane. Actually, a number of uh, dishes, especially with game dishes, are. Um, Diane is what you might not know is the Diana is the goddess of the hunt. Oh. So uh, a number of uh, game dishes are traditionally a la Diane. Hmm. Um, and so really, I, this is where the, the origins of the dish first comes, um, being a classic meat dish and celebrating the hunt. <laughs> What kind of pressure, Tim, is on you when you're preparing this uh, sort of dish for somebody? You do this at the table. Yeah, right at the table. I mean, I mean there's no pressure. It's, it's, it's actually, it's great. <laughs> Doing long, this for you know, years. I haven't burned anybody in years. So <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know what? It, it, it's nice. I get to put on a show. I get to a little bit more uh, time to spend with the guests. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's fun. It's, this, is, this is what makes my job interesting. Now, it's not just food like this. You prepare salads and that sort of thing at the table as well, right? That's right. We do Caesar salad. Uh, spinach salads, we make a hot bacon chive dressing for that. Uh, a couple of desserts, bananas fosters. We still do a cherries jubilee, which is outstanding if you've ever had it. Um, yeah, we do a lot of table sides. Right now we're doing a shadow briand as well. So 50 years, what, Chris, is the, what's the secret behind highs? Because we hear a lot in Vancouver about restaurants opening and then closing within months. Uh, they say they just can't sustain the cost in, uh, in this economy. Now, you guys have been here for 50 years, obviously doing very well. I think really a consistency. Um, we have a good product in what we do. Um, and we really sort of stick to our guns when it comes to that. When you follow the trends and things like that, it's, uh, we are what we are. We're very proud of what we do. Um, and uh, I don't know if you've been in the Encore yourself. The ambiance there is very consistent. It's always the same. Um, guests just love coming back. To yeah. the point, though, we have now 50 years. We've got a few generations of I was gonna say. little ones that came in are bringing their kids in now and things like this. So nice I think we're going to have a little here, flame here now, so we might. Like the fact that everybody backed up when that happened. Woo! Warm. <laughs> so that's a brandy that I just mm -hmm. flamed that off with. Develops a nice sweetness in there. And this is uh, some veal stock and heavy cream. And now, what's the purpose of putting a, a, the flambe on there, putting the brandy on? Well, it pulls on. all the flavors together. It, it deglazes everything off the bottom of the pan. Um, and it just helps for me to start to create a really nice sauce. So okay. the meat's cooked now, so I can take it out. And basically, I'm just going to reduce the sauce a little bit. Chris, do you have people coming in uh, for, to celebrate anniversaries and that sort of thing and asking for their table? They've been there so often. They've brought their family there that they feel like Absolutely. they own a little piece of the restaurant. There is uh, somewhat a uh, little bit of ownership. Um, <laughs> obviously, we always try to accommodate all our guests. Um, can be a little tricky when both of them want the same table, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, as we have such a, a repeat of our guests, same guests coming back. Now you um, must have had some famous celebs in over the years. Many. 
We've had many. Um, just recently, actually, I think we were just chatting about this earlier, That's we right, had yeah. the Blue Jays alumni in, and uh, we had Joe Carter, who uh, wow. came in. That was the most recent, who um, obviously a very famous uh, Canadian Blue Jays. Um, if you do read in our website, one of our, our President Neil um, remembers when Muhammad Ali actually came in and uh, ate two steaks uh, that day on his own <laughs> in the afternoon there. As he would. Um, Tim's just reducing the sauce down now. Mm -hmm. I think it's just going to be ready to... So this is ready to now plate. So this is something that if you ordered the uh, steak Diane at High's, you would do this for somebody at the table. Right at the table, yeah. right in the middle of the dining room. You do find that when you make a table side that once people start to get the aroma around the restaurant that you're going to be making one or two more as well. I don't doubt people it. Like, like the look of it. And uh, so for you as a, a server, yeah. also now a chef, uh, a bit of a showman, is there, is there a show that comes oh, with Oh, definitely. It? I mean, well, you saw the flame. So then in a, in a darker restaurant, uh, that flame is even more pronounced. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we do some other things too. I, I get a lot of flame shows. Uh, we, we're flaming some special coffees right at the table, which is a lot of fun. Um, as I said, some of the desserts. So it, it, it's it makes my job a little more interesting because not only do I get to uh, take care of the guests, I get to make their food right at the table. Right so, on. yeah, it, it makes things more interesting. Very good, very yeah. good. Now, have there been any surprises for you guys over the years or for the restaurants? At least, uh, at least once a shift, there's always something in the restaurant <laughs> business. You know, oh, so, I understand that. Yeah. It's very unpredictable. But with 50 years experience, uh, we've got it to a fine art. So, uh, you know, highs, highs carries on no matter what. And I understand there's quite a wine cellar as well. Indeed, we have a selection of over 400 wines, um, which is always on a continuum. Wines are, you know, we're selling out and re restocking it. So, um, uh, and also our wine list and our, and our iPads as well, which sort of just moving with the times a little bit at the encore. Um, and very popular, so we can match up, you know, a great wine with your dinner as well. Okay, so celebrating 50 years, you've changed the menu a little bit to accommodate some of the mm -hmm. better known dishes yeah. over the years, including this one. I'm going to reach over here and grab a, yes. a knife and a fork and a fancy napkin and try <laughs> this before Jay gets his mitts on it. Um, and maybe you can uh, just remind us once again how long the anniversary menu is around for. Well, we did our anniversary uh, started um, last Thursday where we had our, our little anniversary bash. and. Mm -hmm. um, we're running it actually for the next four weeks, so really for the whole of uh, October. Um, I should actually say that it is actually where you do come in as a guest. The server, right from the beginning, from your appetizer to your entree to your dessert to mm -hmm. your coffee, can all be prepared table side for Very you. Very so nice. Wow. Some of the food will not even, none of it will come out of the kitchen. The server will make it all for you. What there. an amazing experience that would be. Thank you so much for coming in. This, by the way, is delicious, so I'm going to take it and <laughs> hide it so Jay can't get it. You know, I will share it with him, of course. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Very nice to meet you both. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Thanks, Thanks for coming much, in. Tim. And yeah, all the best uh, for the 50th anniversary of High's. Uh, of course, the anniversary celebration continues all this month at High's Steakhouse down at 637 Hornby Street in Vancouver, highsteakhouse.com. Thanks again, gentlemen.